Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. All right, we'll get started. What advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Cancer? All right. All right, we will lay out the cards here. I am going to pull a Sacred Destiny Oracle card as well. And if you don't mind, these have already been shuffled. Hitting the like button, it does nice things to the algorithm so that people will see the reading. Current situation, I like this. The King of Cups, the immediate influence is the star. In your subconscious, you have the Eight of Cups. In the distant past, the Queen of Wands. The more recent past, the Seven of Cups, the energy coming towards you is the Five of Wands. You're represented by the Knight of Pentacles. You're attracting a Two of Pentacles. You got the Five of Swords and your hopes and fears, Two of Cups and the outcome. That's nice. Heavenly, I heard. Now, the bottom of the deck, this little bugger kills me. The um, Devil, just the way he waves, like, let me control things. So you've got the Devil, the Sun, and the Five of Pentacles. So you have three fives here. You're definitely coming into a time of change. Um, but I want to say with this Enlightenment card here that um, we pulled from the Sacred Destiny, this is also a time of spiritual shift too. Enlightenment, you rise, your ascension. Meditate, quiet the mind, listen to your dreams, follow your intuition. It's all very important. I will say, too, though, on the mundane level with all these fives, you may get some intel here. And I do feel like with that, it's going to create a shift. You're going to get information. It feels more about financial stuff. Um, and it may be information about a coworker who is a bit uh, slanderous, shall we say, somebody who likes to talk to about other people. And I feel like with this, you're going to be in that place because your soul doesn't gossip. Your soul doesn't, you know, I've heard gossip, it's... um. Uh, a polite form of murder by character assassination. Hopefully the AI won't get too riled up about that terminology. They're so finicky about any subject matter they think you're talking about. But truthfully, I do feel like with that energy, you've got the two very polar opposite energies. Okay, the sun, everything is illuminated. Whereas the devil depicts our shadow aspects, what hides and lurks in the shadows. Our secrets keep us sick. There may be somebody around you where things come to light and you might say, yep, they got a lot of baggage. They've got a lot of skeletons in the closet. And I don't feel like it's going to hurt you at all, but I do feel like with this five of pentacles, it may be the catalyst for a change. If it's something to do with work, you may end up, it may be you that ends up leaving. And I do feel like if you are looking for a new job and it's been a while, especially with this night of pentacles here, you're headed towards the good news. It's interesting because you have the yellow in the background here, which is very symbolic. Yellow is wonderful in the tarot. It indicates a new beginning. It in indicates prosperity, abundance, and then you're headed towards eventually the sun. So you may have to trudge that road and keep walking forward, but I feel like there's some information that gets out that is going to have you move forward. Now, if you have a relationship that ended, you're coming into a total match here. And I also feel like you've sure as heck had to had to sift through to find it. Talk about sorting and sifting through contrast. And you may not have done much with that. You may not have gone out with many people just because you knew they were not for you. Good for you if that's the case and you were able to identify that. Because that energy of the devil is the ego. So we can kind of, when we have that energy in our midst, we can get sucked into or lulled into what feels intoxicating. Somebody who lavishes us with praise, who's, they're almost though, so they don't have good boundaries. So they start, you know, giving information and things so quickly. But sometimes that can seem like a false sense of trust. And so I do feel like with the energy of the sun, anything you need to see, you will. That sun energy is new energy and it is pure synergy. It's like a life without limits. You have that with the um, 
the goddess of truth here. I like these two together. You know what comes in between those two? The moon, okay? It goes the star, the the moon, and then the sun. But either way, I like the two of cups with this. You're coming into a match. How about I, I've been meaning to hold the cards back farther. I watched the reading on the computer just to kind of see what it looks like. And I realized the cards are so close to the screen on a computer, plus the sound quality is different. But either way, that's enough about that. All right, okay, you're coming into better time. So if you've been going through it and it's been a bit of a difficult walk, I feel like you are gonna come into a place, especially with love here, somebody who you will hit it off with right away. You may have a chance with this Two of Pentacles with somebody from the past. Now, if you're in a relationship already, they're trying to tell you it's a perfect match. If this symbolizes a relationship that you're in and you are moving in together or you are making plans for the future, I feel like that Two of Pentacles is exactly right. It is an infinity symbol indicating infinite opportunities, but you're having fun with it. And so the plans that you make together, they feel like fun. They feel like they... they help your life just to feel alive again. That's what this will do. Nothing hides in the sun. It's high vibrational energy. So everything is illuminated and it's a time really of true joy. So I definitely feel like you're moving forward here. Now this energy is perfect for you, by the way, with the King of Cups and the star here. You may be attracting a King of Cups, could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, but with this, you are going to have a connection that runs deep. The energy of the star is hooked into source. She's in the flow of source, a limitless flow, by the way. It's a card of meditation and a card of great spirituality. So with the King of Cups, which is also about your own self-development, it may be time to recharge your spiritual life. If it's listening to podcasts or maybe you've got a Course in Miracles, still in the wrapper. You got it as a gift and you go, I know I need to start reading that. I know there's something valuable in that book for me. This is where it says, let's begin. And it's like it turns the page in your life. It kind of wipes the slate clean of any chaos or anything that just didn't seem like it was for you. Now, in terms of a job, this is wish fulfillment. The star energy is, uh, it's, it's a wonderful calming energy, but it's one of insight and it's one of making gains. So the numbers seven and eight are represented in the star. So don't be surprised if the next seven, eight weeks are pivotal in your life, a real turning point. But ultimately the star and the king of cups are trying to tell you that you have way better times ahead. If things have been a struggle, I don't see that staying. If you've had the chaos of the fives, that are in this reading around you and go, I'm so sick of those damn fives. I never want to see another five again. You know, you're going to be moving forward in a way that's going to feel so much easier because you've got all this, what I hear is static. That's what this is. The other one, the other gut punch is the five of cups. Okay. So these three together is like, you gad, you know, it just is chaos, it's overthinking, and it's walking away but feeling bittersweet about it. So I definitely feel like you have such better times ahead. And so with the energy in your subconscious, the Eight of Cups also shows you as moving forward. So I mentioned you don't have that Five of Cups, which only features two upright cups. You have all of these Eight Cups. And so this is the search for deeper meaning. If you're making a job change that's actually more like a career change, you're going into some kind of a helping profession, or you're doing something you've always wanted to do, maybe you're going into the arts or something that you felt was your life pur purpose, but you got pushed in a direction that everyone thought you should do because of their constructs and their hangups, this is going to have you moving forward into a place too where you're going to say it's a complete fit. And some of you, you will say, I wish I would have done it a long time ago. But truthfully, the universe's timing is perfect. There, You've got perfect timing. There is no, I wish. It's just about continuing to seek and continuing to find. This is the hero's journey. So the Queen of Wands here is in the distant past. This is also a card where you have great influence over others. And it may have been somebody who influenced you. If there was somebody around you, so I mentioned before you had this sort of slanderous energy. If you had somebody around you who was the enlightening person, they came to you and told you some things, I feel like they did it with a pure sense and a motive of protection. I don't feel like it was done at all out of malice 
or even out of like trying to gossip about the gossiper. I do feel like it was out of a, a very pure intention. This Queen of Wands though also has you making gains in your career, okay? She is all about those, you know, having those upward uh, climbs, uh, upward moves. Let's say it that way. Climb sounds difficult. I don't like that. And it's also about bringing loyal people in. So again, I feel like you had somebody who was very loyal to you, who may have stuck their neck out and gotten involved in something they did not need to just for the good of the whole. And so if it's a relationship though, in terms of attracting people, I do feel like you have a match. There's no doubt about it with the two of cups being here. But I also feel like too, there may have been a catalyst in the past if you were in a relationship that wasn't that great this also could have shown you, you know what, there may be something better out there. There may be more out there for me. And so the Seven of Cups has a bit of a wishy-washy energy, this Daydreamer's Torment card. I do feel like they're warning you not to stay into too much inaction with this one. Because then you go into that Five of, of Wands. And truthfully, the Tarot is your best friend who always tells you the truth. The cards are trying to guide you out of those fives. So if you know deep down what the right path is to choose, it may be time to start making those decisions and doing something because the seven of cups is there are good choices here, but it's like he's just standing there staring and evaluating forever. And if it's somebody around you, if it is a relationship that hasn't gotten off the ground, I feel like they're going to miss their opportunity with you. I just feel like this is not something to sit and wait and wait for. Now, if you're already in a relationship and you're trying to make a decision, I also feel like they're trying to push one of you to make the decision. So, because what that will do is it'll help to alleviate so we don't head straight into the five of wands chaos. This is a, uh, a bit of competition around you. So, like I said, you might have to watch out for somebody around you who works with you who likes to stir up drama, just don't participate in it, is what I feel like they're trying to say. This is like herding goats. So it also, too, if you have challenges with people who don't follow through and are just not very efficient at work, they're, or it could be somebody you hire, too. If it's like there's a lot of um, people dropping the ball is what I get. So it could be something with a trip or plans that you're making. You may have to get a bit directive with this so that you don't stay in this because this is difficult and challenging energy to stay in too long. And what I like about it, because you're represented by the Knight of Pentacles, if you do need efficiency, you're going to wonder who you are in this energy because the Knight of Pentacles gets the job done right the first time. So the Knights, are they love a quest, and this one is good news about money. But he's also, too, very meticulous with planning, very detail-oriented. So you'll see things with an eagle's vision. You'll see anything that needs changing or anything that stands out to you that needs attention. I feel like you're going to see that immediately. But this is also long-term success with relationships and also in terms of money. So with the Two of Pentacles, you have you have options coming in, no doubt about it. And I do feel like you're going to be having fun with it. I feel like with this Two of Pentacles, there, there's even though there's no real, no real race with the Knight of Pentacles either, um, I still feel like they're saying not to be in too much analysis paralysis, not to stay in that too long, even though it does feel like fun. So that Five of Swords, I feel like with the, this and your hopes and fears, you're done with conflict. And you're also too done being in the middle of drama. I just feel like anybody that wants to pull you into their toxic loop. You're just not going to have it. And you might find that you distance yourself rather than really putting it out there, what has gone on and why you're avoiding them. In terms of relationships, though, in terms of a love relationship, I feel like you're pulling somebody in who you, you will not have to deal with that with the Two of Cups. It's a perfect match. So you have somebody who comes in here. And part of this, too, I mentioned, I think, before, with this, with that infinity symbol, I get it a couple of ways in terms of work, but I also get it with a relationship that it's going to be fun. It's going to be easy. It's going to be a time in your life where you feel like you can immediately be yourself and it's a soulmate. You've got real love here. So let's see now what the fortune oracle wants to tell you, Cancer.
All right, you have the chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. So it, this reminds me of Cancer Energy, but it's definitely a yes card telling you it's time to make a move, time to make a decision here, Cancer. What else do you need to know here about love? You are limitless. You can do anything you choose, okay? If you your spirit animal is a unicorn, there you go. But be open and know there are unlimited possibilities for you. I love you, Cancer, and I'll be back again soon.